and the catch limits for next year. And secondly, it will not be increased. There are some, there are some suggestions and it might be needless. What does that mean to all of you? I think you've got to make decisions locally in terms of how certain business is locally. More importantly though, I think that you're a very key part of the image we create in terms of the biggest challenges that exist out of that growth. What are the biggest challenges? Obviously fuel is going to be a significant challenge. There's only so much disposable income and people are going to be spending more of it on fuel, they're going to be spending less of it on other things. And so many things we're purchasing are now going to have a, a larger fuel component. It's going to be challenging for us. The most significant challenge for us is people. The most significant rate limiter to growth in this area is finding people. Now, I don't know if you're experiencing that, but certainly we know that as the mining industry comes online, it's an enormous threat to rural communities. They can pay a lot more, they can have fly-in, fly-out, and so it totally changes the nature and the small rural community, and an enormous threat to you. How do you turn these things into a positive? By creating an image that this is a great place to live. Creating an image that people want to move here, and people aren't individuals in jobs. People are families first. We, just, we did ourselves enormous damage when we allowed our health debate to become so public and so skewed, I might add. And we did ourselves enormous damage. Because when families were looking at relocating here, because one of the members of the family had been offered employment here, they Googled the place. And what came up? Pages and pages of stories about a health <coughs> system in, in crisis. One of the headlines, Beirut. Well, we might have had a bit of local sport. It might have been good fun, locally. We did ourselves an enormous damage. On the positive side of it, for years, we have been very successful here with our two private and our one, our two public and our one private high school. And if you go and Google education at Mount Gambier, you'll see a whole lot of positive stories. So we had a positive and a negative. But the health one actually worked against it. A number of people spoke to me um, who thought they had a potential employee, and at the last minute they said, why aren't you coming? It was because the family won't come. The message there is, if we want to be critical of each other, make sure it's balanced, and make sure that we're just not only describing where the challenges are, but where the vision is. So we're actually advocating it in terms of solution, not just playing a local sport and bash each other up.